Hello, my name is Isabella Sutterfield, and I am going to summarize the essay on Being a Cripple by Nancy Mars. In this essay, Nancy explains the concept cripple as a defining word for herself rather than disabled. Through her personal story, she wants to cultivate how there is much more to having a disability rather than what is known by many individuals. Throughout her life, she had succeeded in graduating college to teach, write, and speak publicly. She had also raised two of her children, one being a foster child with her husband. She had felt very content with her life, but once she was 28, she started to notice her continuous falling and tripping over things. Later on, the doctors had assumed it had been a brain tumor, but after some tests, there was no sign of a brain tumor. They soon diagnosed her to have multiple sclerosis, a chronic disease of the central nervous system. In this disease, myelin is slowly eaten away as well as scarring tissue, which causes the nerve signals to be interrupted. In many cases, the symptoms may consist of loss of vision, hearing, speech, walking, and much more. Unfortunately, Mars had symptoms of loss of walking and muscle. With her left leg, left arm, and right arm weak, she had completely lost hope and fears she will never be able to do activities she had once done before due to her new limitations. Throughout the process, her family has greatly impacted her life with assistance and acceptance. Although she has this type of support, she still feels at times guilty for needing so much assistance because of the way she is. Ever since the diagnosis, she had started to compare herself to others, whether it's comparing herself to Tiny Tim with his crutch or the able, normal women in magazines. She had formed a hatred not only for the disease, but as well as herself. Through guilt, shame, and hatred, she has grown to accept the major challenges in her life and grow her knowledge on the diagnosis through research on treatments, studies on cures, and much more. Since this acceptance, she refuses to be bitter towards doctors and others, and she is not sorry to be a cripple. Thank you for watching.